everyone, it's Andy from Hobby Headquarters. And as you can see right here, I have a massive kit to share with you today. One that's probably been talked about for uh, the last six months. And now I have a sample to share with you guys today. And I am talking about none other than the Border Models 132nd scale Avro Lancaster with full interior. And this is the one. This is the one that has the fully stressed skin. Uh, the most realistic looking airplane model I think you're ever going to see. It's, it's that incredible. Now I'm filming the intro last on this particular video because I've actually already filmed all the plastic and I went through each one of the pieces and all I can say is wow. If you're an airplane modeler and especially if you love the Avro Lancaster, this is a must have for you guys here. A few quick things. Uh, this kit was sent to me a while ago and mine kind of got lost in the mail for, for a while and now I finally have it. But this is the very first production model of this kit. Uh, it has all the actual plastic that will be in the model when it comes out to you if you order one. But I do not have the instructions on this kit to share with you because they were being produced at the time and from what I understand right now I think they're just finishing them up. So they're going to do the final boxing on these very very soon. But unfortunately, I can't share the instructions with you, but I do have the photo etch, the decals, and of course, all of the plastic inside there. Um, this kit is so massive, I don't know if you can see all of it, but I had to set up two work tables to be able to display all of this stuff on here because it's just that big. Then a, one other quick thing before we take a look at the video. Uh, these are available for pre-order on our website at andyshhq.com. And if you live in the European Union or the rest of the world, it's andyshq.eu. You can go ahead and order them on there. And then just a quick side note, uh, we've received a lot of pre-orders for these already. If you have done a pre-order already, uh, you will be getting the final bill in the, in the email very, very soon. But we don't want to bill anybody until the actual kits are on the water to us. That way we have a better time frame to know when they're going to show up here. So that's, just, that's a side note that if you haven't ordered one, um, you might not know what that means, but if you have, you definitely know what that means. So, wow, very excited. Uh, I've been waiting for this kit for a long time, and I'm excited to share it with you right now. So, let's get started. Okay, I uh, have the box here ready to go, and in fact I had to set up two of my work tables to be able to display this, this beast. What I'm going to first do is I'm just literally going to open this up and show you the amount of plastic it is inside here. And this is what the kit looks like when you open it up. There is a ton of plastic inside here. Now I opened this up before I started filming and took a few of the parts out to look at them and kind of just put them back in the box. Didn't pack them the exact same way as they will come packed from border. So uh, obviously I didn't do the greatest job in the world because they're a little bit overflowing, but there is a lot, a lot of plastic in here. So let's tear open all of these bags and take a look inside. So let's take a look at the very first sprue and we have the main part of the fuselage right here. Uh, you can just see right off compared to my hand how big this kit is going to be. But take a look at this. Look at that skin. Just going to spend a few seconds and let you look at all of it here and just to see how they molded this. Yeah, absolutely incredible on that. Next up, we have a portion of the, uh, the wings here. A rather large portion, I should say. And it too. This one's coming off its runner here. But look at the wings. Oh, can you imagine once you weather that and detail it, how that is going to look? That is going to look incredible. Very, very nice. The next sprue is this beast right here. Now you get two of this particular sprue. And this obviously has the, 
the tires. So you get two different types of tire and wheel in here. You get this type right here, which is just the, the regular balloon, but you also get a weighted version of it as well. Looks like we've got some landing gear parts here. Slide molding. I'm just going to just show you all of the, uh, the different parts on here. Man, there isn't even the stress skin on this little tiny piece here. Looks like you got some firewalls for the engines. Really, really nice. Next up, we have some of the internal structures in the airplane. And this is some of the plumbing, as you can see in through here, and some of the extra wiring. And this looks absolutely incredible. I'm going to get right in there and let you see all of that. And then we've got more plumbing here. The wiring, oh man, that is incredible looking. That is going to look so nice inside. And it looks like we've got, I'm assuming the floor in here, the floor of the airplane. But I just keep looking at that, that stuff there. That looks so, so nice. And if you think that looks nice, wait till you take a look at this. So I'm going to kind of turn it this way here and get right in there so you can see the internal parts of this airplane. Closer look at the cockpit, or the instrument panel, I should say. And it just keeps going and going. Look at all that stuff. Stunning, stunning piece. This piece right here looks like these are like the bomb doors. We have right there. And now we're going to be looking at the front of the fuselage where the cockpit area would be. And once again, we have all of that beautiful stress, stressing on the... Uh, on the, the actual metal work there. Let me get as close as I can in there and see if we can. And both sides of that. And then this piece, I'm just going to lay down here. There's not a heck of a lot of detail that we need to show on this, other than these are the, looks like the spars for the wing, and then parts of the nacelle for the, uh, the engines. Looks like the back of it. See that giant piece? Okay, now we are taking a look at, uh, looks like this will be the right wing, uh, facing it, left facing wing. And that is absolutely stunning too. Look at the size of this thing. This alone is probably close to 18 inches just for this portion of the, the product. And then don't forget, then you add one on the other side. So we've got a pretty good size wingspan here. I think it's just at or just over three feet once it's all completed. But we're gonna let you take a close look at these two. All the rivet detail, texturing in the wing, the stressing. Yeah, very, very nice. And look at that, they even stress the underneath side of the wing. And then of course, if you have a left facing wing, you need a right facing wing. And that is this one right here. Same type of look, so we won't spend too much time on that. I guess you can take a look at the wing from the other side here now, though. 
And then I'm going to drop this piece right down in front of you guys, let you see what's inside here. Looks like some more internal parts. And then, of course, we'll just get in here and let you look up close. Very, very nice. And now we have this, some more internal structures. Looks like all of this has been slide molded here. All that nice delicate framework. And now we are going to take a look at one of the engine sprues. And I say one because they give you four full engines inside of here. So they all come stacked together in one bag. So you can see that right there. But we're going to take a close look at this one here and let you see the detail in it. Man, those are magnificent looking. All four of them built up. What a what a great looking uh, internal feature to have on that. Next up, I saw this a bit ago, and I was like really excited about that. Take a look at that seat. The seat belts, the way they're molded in there, look incredible inside there. Let me get as close as I can without going out of focus. Yeah, that looks great. And then we have all kinds of other internal structures looks like part of the cockpit in here lots of dimension to all of these pieces looks like guns I didn't yeah I'm looking at it here through the screen and looks like we've got some guns here and some other internal parts Now I'm going to show you this big sprue here. You get four of this particular sprue and right off you can see it has two different types of prop on it. So we've got this one here with the wider uh, fatter blades and this one here with the skinnier pointier ones. But the main thing that you're going to notice on all of this is the backs of all of the bombs are molded on here. All the fins for the bombs. And there are a lot of bombs in this kit. Now, this sprue right here, you actually get four of those. Just like that. Whoop, I knocked some of the props off. But, yeah, you get four of those sprues, obviously, because you're going to need four different props for the four engines inside. And that is the next thing we're going to talk about are all of the bombs that come in here. So here is the bomb load, and remember the fins are all in that other sprue. And I have to plead a little ignorant. I am not sure exactly what these are. But you do get four sprues of this right here. So obviously some kind of weapon in there. Maybe incendiary devices or something like that on it. But if you know, please go ahead and tell me in the, uh, the comments down below. I'd like to know myself. So four of this sprue. So lots and lots of bombs. You can fill the entire airplane up with the uh, munitions on it. Okay, we only got about another 10 pounds of plastic to go through right here, but uh, no, but this is some incredible, uh, some detailing as well. We have inside here a lot of the rib sections that uh, you're going to put inside the airplane, and this is a, a pretty large sprue just in itself, but we're going to get in there and 
show you what I'm looking at here. This sprue is so large, it's kind of hard to maneuver in front of the camera without bumping into the camera. So if I do, excuse me for that. Yeah, big, big sprue right there. Now we have some more external parts of the airplane here, parts of the fuselage. And right off, we have the, the, uh, the tail wheel. Once again, two different types, the weighted type as well as just the balloon type. And then we have some more of the pieces of the fuselage here. And this one too. Lots of detail on that. And one more piece of the fuselage here before we get to the tail is this one right here. This is the top of the airplane. Yes, very, very nice. And as promised, here is the sprue that contains all of the tail pieces. And right off, I see some really cool detailing like in the middle of the spar here obviously this must be canvas covered because they put wrinkles in it as if it was canvas all the access plates to get inside the tails themselves Yes, there is a big piece there. And, and, and think of it, I, and as I show you all of these pieces that have all of the, the stressed skin on it, and think about how long someone had to sit first at a CAD machine, you know, at a computer doing the CAD work, and, you know, beveling out all of those little pieces on there in, in 3D, and then obviously how long it took to cut all of this stuff too. So yes, some beautiful, beautiful work on that. And finally, I'm going to share with you the decals and the photo etch that comes inside of it. And I'll show you the photo etch seat belts that are in there. That is included in as well. And I do not have the instructions on this. This is, like I was telling to you earlier, a early uh, production version of it. These are the final parts from what I've been made to understand. Uh, they were still just having the instructions printed, so that's why these are not ready to ship just yet, but they will be shipping out very, very soon. But I do have the decals to share with you right now, and we'll take a look at those. So one of them here is Victoria's Virgin. Wow, very, very nice looking artwork. Actually, let's just turn her like that so we can see her face. All the big symbols on it. And then we have Phantom of the Roar. Little Grim Reaper dropping some bombs. We've got our cockpit area here, all the instrument panels. Oh, looks like we've got all of some lines, some giant, giant insignia here. Geez, that is huge. And lastly, this little sheet that's stapled to the top here for me is uh, the bomb markings. So we have all of the bomb markings for the 1,000 and 500 pound bombs. You'll get all of that in there as well. And I hope if I can get a set of instructions fairly soon, I can share with you uh, what they look like inside here. But as you can see, all of the plastic in here, there is a lot, a lot of stuff. So obviously, I can't even attempt to start anything like this without instructions on it. But I wanted to get it right out to you guys and share with you um, how beautiful this kit is inside.
Well, there you go, guys. There is a look at the massive amount of plastic in the new Border Models 132nd scale Avro Lancaster with full interior. Now, as I was saying earlier, I did not receive the instructions on this because they weren't ready at the time when they mailed this out to me. Mine kind of got lost in the mail for a, a short time, but it did show up luckily. From what I understand now, the instructions are complete and they will have them out and the pr final production, you know, putting the, all the pieces in the box and everything is taking place right now. So they should hopefully be shipping out soon, we'll call it. I'm not going to give an exact time because I personally don't know. But this way we can show you all of this uh, pieces here. And what I'm going to do here now is I'm going to show you from Border Models website some of the photos of the built model. I'm going to show you to you right now and you can take a look at some of the quality and detail that is going to be in this kit once you assemble it. So what'd you think of that? Are those beautiful pictures or what? That is going to be a magnificent looking kit once it gets done. So there you go guys, I want to take this opportunity to thank you as always for watching and please stay tuned because I have many more videos coming.